on this battery. Now the interesting thing to see here is that this is showing what's coming off the panel. Now it's a 40 watt panel. I'm getting 1.95 amps at 15 volts and we're using 30 watts. When you go down here to what the MPPT is doing, the amps are flickering around a bit because this voltage is constantly changing and I think it's mucking up the MPPT a bit. If I was to stop the air compressor I think it might settle down a bit but for the purpose it'll work. What we're getting here is 43, 42 watts out of a 40 watt panel. So I think that proves that we are getting some sort of MPPT usage whilst the battery is under stress. Now if I flick across to the PWM you'll see the difference. So this is the PWM. It's taking less amps out of the panel and dropping it just a fraction to 2.11 amps going into the battery. So you've got 28 watts being used there off the panel and 26 going into the battery. Now, I don't know if you can see those figures that clearly from this distance, so I'm going to try some cinematographic zooming. So that's the PWM, and we'll just kind of zoom in a bit. It should be better. That's the PWM. So we've got 2.17 amps coming off the panel, 2.11 going into the battery, 28 watts on the panel, 26.4 watts going into the battery. And we'll flick it now across to the MPPT and you can see we've got 1.86 amps, nearly 29 watts, going to quite a variable here because as I say the battery is being used, it's not settled, so the MPPT is searching for a point where it can do the maximum, but 3.6, we're utilising 44 watts out of a 40 watt panel, don't forget. So I think that just about concludes it conclusively that an MPPT does work, but under duress. It has to have some sort of reason to kick in, which is what I've, why I'm running the um, air compressor. Now I'm going to switch that off. go back to our PWM. Now it's still doing 2.17 and 2.11. We go back to the MPPT and it's still utilising 46 amps whilst it catches up. Now it will get to a point and we're going to float and be almost identical to the PWM. So there you are live broadcast from Mandrake Solar Power. Hope you all enjoyed it, because I certainly did. The controller here, and I'll just zoom out again, but beep. cinematography is the new thing. Okay, the two controllers. This one is the G to 12 amp, which is pretty common on most panels and kits. This is the G to MPPT 10 amp, which figures predominantly on our 